Here we are again. I adjust my mic. It's a new season. Oh boy. I think I need a new mic stand. Anyway, took a week off from Magic to take a break, I guess. Um, and came back with uh, a new season. And go to Dex real quick. I had something I was trying to do before this uh, uh, new deck came, uh, series came out. Whatever you want to call it. Packs? Whatever. Dealing with rogues, mainly because... Excuse me, at the time, there was... I felt enough um, stuff within the... Uh, uh, within the game already where I could do some interesting stuff with just straight up thieves. Where the whole point was... Wound of Blackguards, where whenever a road comes in, they get a plus one. I mean, granted, this thing is a two mana, one one, which can get rid of very quickly. And it's just a lot of rogue interactions with this card. Well, it turns out the, uh, let's go back to decks real quick. I had another one as well. More around just straight up removal and counters and whatnot. Well, it turns out with the new season uh game froze on me video game what happened okay go back to decks um they put more rogue stuff out and i thought great messed around with it a bunch tried making it a three color rogue deck with black blue and red mainly because of robert of the rich would have been great if i got it off to begin with it just turned out it was very uh uh what's the word hit or miss i guess um trying to get the correct lands in the first couple of turns to get it to work. So I paired it down to just black and blue because there's a bit of control in this too with like Thought Erasures and uh, just Mill. There is one card in here. What's it called? Uh, Rogue. I gotta filter it real quick that I do not have enough rares to actually unlock this thing. The blue black. Where is it? This guy. If I had any goals to get this guy in here, I would put him in as well, but I don't. So I have to work with what I've got. As you can see, all I've got are common and uncommon. So I've gotten rid of all my mythic rares. And here's what I got in the deck. It's a little bit of removal as well. Some of this stuff, eh, I don't know. Still working on it. You know, still Luna's Black card. I like this card a lot and trying to get it to work. No one really expects it. Uh, some counter spells, more milling. It's all milling. I, I, I really like the idea of just screwing with people's decks. And then this card, returning things from my graveyard to it, to the battlefield. I'm a little eh on this as well, mainly because I did have Bajuka Bogs in here to get. That was my way of getting rid of, like, um, Uros in the deck. But here we are. Going back to Historic Ranked. Uh, let's get Let's get my deck the rogues and let's see how bad we do long enough intro let's let's get right down to it um in earlier iterations of this deck i had issues with tokens even faster rush than me because i can kind of get log jammed on two mana in the beginning with i've got like five or six things that i want to play a lot of them are flashes but i don't know uh it turns out a lot of people who play this game at least in non-ranked, whenever they come across, you know, like, removal deck, they just don't want to deal with it. They're like, it's not fun, so they don't want to deal with it. I understand it. Leyline of the Void, interesting. Well, I think I'm going to go early, and uh, let's see what you got in your hand. You probably have an opt. You can't have a counter this early. Okay, you don't. All right, let's see what you got. You really have nothing. Perfect. This is fine. Um, let us... Uh, I'm going to play this, and we're going to go into Una's Black Guard to start with. They don't have any counters for it. Perfect. So now, I'm going to see what they play. Gain a life. I think they want to get rid of it. I think I'm going to Thought Erasure, Thieves Guild Enforcer, this turn. First things first. This will eat your counter if you've got it. Get rid of you. 
Ooh, another Una's Black Guard. Um, I'm gonna wait. And no attacks, because I want to see what they do. Maybe this wasn't smart. We'll see. My turn. All right, we're going to play it. They do have an answer. I'll eat your counter now. I do not. Interesting. So now they have to block this. This seems to be a blue-black deck of sorts as well. We're going to see what they do. They're looking at that black card. We're going to have to have you sacrifice. Are you going to do it? Oh, they do. Alright, so. We're going to play this so I can get the mill out of it. Still get value. All they got to land. Still ahead. This card's completely useless because they got Leyline out of the Void out. So I really have no reason to uh, play this as... The awakening so we're just gonna put this in and are tapped next to combat thought thief is going out they're thinking about it one attacker make you bill what are you oh airboat's intervention are you going to block you are not all right next to damage all right, get rid of your card in your hand. See, I really like Wounded's Black Guard. If you can actually get them to have nothing in their hand here, it's great. So we know they have removal. I don't think they... They, they got rid of their big card here. Um, and, yep, all right, taps it out. I really like the Wounded's Black Guard. If you can sneak it in. You can also get it to work with... Uh, any counter decks you know I thought I'd try to make like a green black with that but I don't know if there's any many green black rogues because I think it specifically has to be rogues for the black card thing to work but let's continue I think I'm doing ranks yeah I am it was, it was the thing in the corner uh yeah the things I've had problems against was I don't get the right cards to start with, with just immediate removal against any, like, aggro deck. Then bad things happen. This is kind of a bad start. So I think... Well, Eliminate's fine. I think I'm going to go into this and hopefully I pull something on out of my hand here. Alright, let's play you. Enter you tapped. So I at least have Eliminate if they put something I don't like out. Another blue deck. All right. Well, let's get the Expedition Sculper out, mainly because you can have Death Touch with Rogue. So you're going to bounce this, or are you going to opt? So you either have Unsummon. Oh, I think we got Rogue decks. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Don't think I don't know this game, buddy. Um, so let's just get rid of you immediately. I guess Flavor of the Week now is just Rogues. I wish I was playing this before and to be like, see, I like this before it was cool. But I guess that's not the case. Um, I'm going to play the island. I have Drown and Lock at least for uh, counter. And I'm going to probably put Skydancer out to flash at the in my next turn. What's this again? Number of cards. Oh, sweet. These are going pretty quick. Yeah, I try to make a three-color rogue, like I said, work, but ah. it really would help if there was a black, oh, Jesus Christ, a black, blue, and red triome, but there isn't. Or a mystic. I try to make a wizard deck work. I couldn't because I'm an idiot. I've got one of you already. What are you? Shadow Spear. Ooh. Try to get Death Touch. Um, deck going the second I ever see this. I'm like, all right, I tap out. Uh, we'll open up the pack after the next couple of games. We'll have that be the treat at the end. Um, I do like having the eliminates or uh, heartless axe in there. It's 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 good removal. Um, 
other things I see that are a bit of a pain are like 1-1 one, one token decks, and I'd like to make a deck around stopping those. There's like sup some super uh, expensive um, black-white enchantment. That's, uh, we're just going to go straight into this, enter it tapped, let them know that I've got nothing on turn one. Um, that reduces the attack and HP of any, um, creatures on their side to minus one, minus one, which I think is pretty handy. I don't think you have, you're reading it now. I don't know if there's a... They do have a flashcard of sorts. Sucks I don't have a counter for turn three here. Fine, gain life. Are you going to attack? You are not. All right. So this turn... I want to read this. Drown in the lock real quick. Things need to be in their... Uh, in their graveyard for this to work. So I'm not going to attack this turn. I'm going to flash in the Thought Thief at the end of uh, their turn here. They definitely have something here. That way if I attack with the Thought Thief, I'll put the Black Guard down. And then that'll trigger the ability twice. Yeah, we're not blocking. We're going to go to damage. We've tapped you. Alright, so you're a Vigilance deck. Now you're going to be a 2-4. You do have a Spell of Sorts. Alright, so now we're going to put in the Black Guard. This is going to count, if he does actually get to attack, this will count as a, uh, getting him to dump two of his cards. Conclave Tribunal, interesting, so there's, alright, yep, two of your cards are gone. See, they both, it, it, it's kind of a tricky play, I guess you can do with this. I really like this card. March of the Multitudes, huh? All right, so now, end turn. So now I've got a pretty good counter here. How many you got in the deck? Four. So, if it's a five mana cost card. I can get rid of the uh, Heed Bonder. So I'm going to. Um, actually, no. I'm going to let it attack. Because it definitely has a buff spell of sorts. I'd rather deal with these first. They can't Elder Gargaroth here. I'm going to counter this. I don't want you getting any ramp. I know what he's trying to do. No ramp for you. No ramp. That way if they do a buff on the healer's hog next turn, I'm going to kill it before it can actually block. What are you going to do? He's tapping stuff. Ah, all right, Thought Thief goes away. Thought Thief goes away. That's fine. All right. Cathalach Quain. We're going to flash in the Thought Thief. And next attack, Blackguard, go. Mill two cards. Are you going to block with the Healer's Hawk? You're going to have to, otherwise you lose your card. Ah! Another tap out. Nice. Move up another rank. 
I think mill deck is going to be the new annoying thing going forward here. And I guess I'm contributing to the annoyance. So let's continue. That's three games so far. Yeah, if this thing goes into late, that's where I have a bit of a problem, I think. Like, they can control me out to the point where I can't get enough aggro to start. That's the other thing that ends up killing me, too. That's why I kind of got this to uh, get rid of any enchantments that are a bit of a pain in the ass. Feed the swarm. All right. Please, Scry. You do not. You... All right, this may actually play into his hand with this. Uh, yep. Thief Guild Enforcer goes bye-bye. That's the one you should get rid of. Perfect. So you probably have a second thought, thought seize in your deck. Yeah, otherwise you wouldn't. You really need to get that shock down, huh? I don't know, did I keep thought thought seizes in my deck? Do not remember. I think I'm gonna leave the blue unknown just yet. I have immediate removal regardless of what they play. I think they're trying to play around that now. They definitely are. So here we go. We're not doing anything. They definitely have uh, something to kill it. And they're wondering what to play. They have a flash of sorts. I guess it's the turn to stone? Oh, this is quite the colored deck, huh? Um, we're gonna put a blue in now. And we're gonna wait. I have no reason to play anything. They are holding on to all the removal stuff. Cavalier of Thorns, huh? That's fine. We're going to Heartless Act you. Resolve. I'm going to mill this now. So get that out of your hand, buddy. Oh, Croxa. Interesting. Oh, this is probably a deck I'm going to lose to. Very much so. Um, well, we're going to Nighthawk Scavenger now. Mill you some more. Another Thought Seize goes away. Alright, so they got some serious removal. I didn't get enough um, damage in to start this game. So, he's definitely got enough. Fine. Assassin's Trophy, sure, fine. This game's gone too late. Well, Island. See if I had Bajuka Bog. That would be amazing right now. But I don't. Um We're gonna wait. I have no reason to play anything right now. Go ahead, play your Croxa. First Rider start, okay. That's sorcery speed on the Feed the Swarm. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of life when I do it. So be it. Ding, 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 ding. How much are in there? That's three. Uh, we'll play this now. That 
That's fine. Resolve. Resolve. I like go bye bye. Resolve. This is converted mana cost three or less, so goodbye, Croxa. This sucks. See, this is the thing where I just kneecap because this game's gone too late. And he has enough to pull out another broke, so yeah. So, this is where I concede. I really think I should keep the Bazooka Bogs for these types of decks. I'm going to keep them in there. So, let me go add those, and we'll play one more. I really like the ability to exile their entire deck. So, go to decks. Add land. D-O-J. Bajookabok. We'll put three of them in. Get rid of three of you. Done. Home. One more. And then we'll open. Oh. Yeah, I needed more. More at the beginning of that match. I mean, they had enough removal, but I needed to be able to eat through it. This should do it. I wish I had Bajookabog later. That's the other drawback of uh, this deck. Triome, you say? Well, what are you? Uh, the black. Green and white. Excuse me. What are you gonna play? I think he's thinking. Come on. Play your cards. Come on. Shrine of Fangs. Great. There seems to be a shrine deck. With some control spells. Ah, uh, shit. This is the drawback of the Bajuga box when you get them when you can't use them. I need to put a land down. So, we're gonna Bajuga bog it up. It's a little counter synergy with the Thieves Guild Enforcer, but. Ah, it's a drawback. What are you gonna do? I can't beat Shrine decks with this. Not if I can't get the uh, cards I need out first to start with. Really looking for a blue. Oh, well, yeah, they're straight up shrines. That is not the card I need. Uh, especially now. But we're going to put it out. Mill a bit more. Oh, an Ugin. So, they put down a red, which they don't have any um, mana for. Oh, Sanctum, the, the Woody Woo. This really sucks. I'm not getting the land I need. And they're probably going to wipe me. But it's fine, I've got Agadim's Awakening. So, we'll play you. Mill you some more. Oh, well, there was that land they were probably looking for. So, next turn, they're dead unless they've got a... way of clearing this out. Which they probably do with like a Shadow of the Sky or something. Where I really wish I had blue mana to get rid of this issue now. But, eh... <laughs> So here comes the white or red. Blue. Alright, so you've got control of sorts. You got to. You don't. And again. Didn't get what I needed. There's no way this 
execute, yeah. But you're still going to be able to... Oh, I guess it doesn't count, huh? We'll mill you some more. Alright, so... Really sucks. I need a blue to actually counter. And I'm not, and I hate this. <clears throat> so, really need that blue source. Really, really need it. Otherwise, they're going to win. And of course, I don't get it. So, go ahead. You stop the damage again. Because, god damn it, I'm getting fucked by not having any of my land. I hate this. The frustrating thing of this game sometimes is when you're just like almost there and it's not letting you do it. Because out of the... 47 cards left in my deck. I can't pull one blue source. And thankfully he tapped out because he was probably still going to win. Hooray. Game ends. Did I get any more cards? I didn't. We're close though. Let's go look at the pack before we end. Just to call it there. What did I get? Sneaking guide. Oh, I got an uncommon. Eh, it's okay. Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort. Creatures you control at face. That sounds alright. Seafloor Stalker. You're a rogue. Oh, I don't have party. Orin Reef Ooze. That sounds okay. All the red recovery. Eh, it's okay. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we'll do some more rogue stuff. Although maybe I'll stop since literally everyone's probably going to be doing rogues. But, I don't know. Talk to you soon, folks. Goodbye.